Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and create this toddler play park. Play park. <laughs> play park. There we go. Um, so I actually got this pack as an early access review copy provided by EA. So make sure you go ahead and check out my review which should be up by the time you see this. Um, and I'm also here with a build today. Also got a create a sim as well which should be up before or after um my schedule's a little bit of a mess at the minute so hopefully um well you know i do actually have a toddler's playlist up on my channel so you can go ahead over there and it will show you um you know how all the videos i've done so far with that and um, just so you can see if you're watching at a later date might be easier to do it that way so like i said we're doing a toddler play park today and um, really really happy with this and i'm really really happy with items that we've got in game and um, so today's kind of just a way to show off these items and kind of showing you ways you could use it and um, so uh, this is on a 30 by 20 lot and it is up on the gallery now if you'd like to go ahead and download it for yourself my origin id is real thomas tv one and yeah so um, this was, well, I actually made it as a room first, um, which didn't really turn out that well. Um, I don't know why I thought I'd do it as a room, but I kind of just thought I'd kind of scale it up a little bit and just make it a full park. Um, so it has lots of colour, lots of plants in it, lots of toys and stuff for toddlers to do. So it's a really, really nice place for them to go and uh, spend the day at. So that little kind of, um, I guess, the little raised up bit there with the fence going around it, that's kind of like where the barbecue is and the seating area. Um, so you can go there for like lunch or something. And then there's also the toilet room, which I'm kind of making now. And then on the like the main floor of the park, I guess you could say, um, we've got the big kind of um, new play centre. I don't even know what the word for it would be. The big like play um, climbing frame sort of thing. I could not think of the word for it. <laughs> Hopefully you know what I mean. The big main thing about this pack. Um, so it's that which I've kind of done the separate items of it because you may know but it's actually the big item with all of it attached but you can also get the separate items and um, which as you can see right here so that doesn't actually have the slide in the ball pit attached to it but you can get them as separate items in game as well which is really really great for saving space so went ahead and added those in just shortly um, and it actually saves space a little bit um, and yeah so I actually did a little bit of landscaping I couldn't really do that much with this build since it was kind of cramped um, and I did kind of do like a little fountain in the middle, which I thought looked really, really great. So I went ahead and added that in. Um, so as you can see here, we're using some of these new lights that we got from the new, um, I guess, like, well, the got like um i don't know how to explain this it's like a pool on one side of it but doesn't have a pool on the other side so what you actually do is you have to um kind of get another pool on the other side and put it on it's kind of hard to explain it's really for if you're going to extend it so you can put more like one or two of them together um and that's what that is but i had to go ahead and just do it you know by putting the extra pool on just one of them that probably made no sense <laughs> anyway so we're just going around doing that now and um, I'm just going around, that actually took a little bit of time because I was trying to get like symmetrical on each of the sides and stuff so it made it a little bit difficult but we got it there in the end. Um, there's also four entrances, like one either side and there's kind of like a pathway leading into the middle of it which I thought really really great to the fountain. Um, so you'll see that shortly. Um, so we're just working on putting the dollhouse in now and also going around and doing the kind of this rug here as well. So this rug is actually one item and um, it's kind of like three of them put together and there's also another rug as well. I don't think I used it though in this bit. Build. Um, so I'm just putting a few decorations around here and um, this has kind of got a few toys and clutter around it as well and um, there's also a few of those director chairs which I really really like that we've got with this pack too and that's it's, I suppose for parental supervision they can sit there and <laughs> um, so I'm just putting these extra items in as I saw there well said I should say and um, which came separately with the pack which is another thing so we're just going around putting some items in here as you can see i kind of didn't really focus on one area and then finish that go on to the next one which is sometimes i do that in my builds um i don't know why really it's just because i might it was i wasn't like exactly 100 percent sure of what i exactly wanted to do so i found it a little bit easier just to do it that way um, and it worked out well in the end Um this took me i think about just over 40 minutes or so which is no time at all to be honest and um, but i'm still really happy with the result and yeah so the creative sim i did as well was really really short like i tried to make it like like um not speed it up the full way and um, but it kind of looked a little bit weird so the creative sim if that's up or not it is a little bit short and um, but you know there's nothing i could really do about that so yeah we've got a few minutes left here um i did actually well this build is a little bit longer to kind of make up for it normally what i do is i kind of cut out the boring parts during the video but for this one um not really boring parts so kind of things that are a little bit repetitive like putting plants in or something um so i went ahead and just kind of left most of the video in so it didn't get too long but it was a little bit longer than my normal like five minute speed builds because i don't like to include anything boring in it um i suppose not really boring but you know what i mean um so i'm just going around doing basic landscaping and stuff here getting the basic shape of the path that I wanted in it 
Wasn't really too sure of the size I wanted to go for here. I was a little bit worried I was going to take too much space up from those four corners of the build uh, with different items in, but it worked out well in the end. Um, so next to the fountain, I put a little brown um, train painting, like dirt train paint, to go ahead and do a little bit of landscaping. Wasn't really too sure what to do with it though. I was going to put those hedges in, but a little bit too big. Um, so I went ahead and just added in a um, kind of like some ferns. Um, I think that's what they're called. And also some um, items from the Romantic Garden stuff pack as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, wait, that's not a separate video. What am I talking about? <laughs> Still, I'm the literal mess today. Um, they'll be coming up a little bit later when I do that, like later in the video. And yeah, so um, we're kind of just finishing up with that now. And what else I'm going to be doing here? Just kind of doing a little bit of landscaping. Um, I wasn't really too sure what to do with this path because I kind of wanted it to be lined with something. Um, because looking at the, just having the stone how it is looked a little bit boring. Um, so I just went ahead and added a few little low level plants there, as you saw. Um, and I thought it looked great because some of the bigger plants like um were a little bit too big to put around there. So I just went ahead with these smaller ones, and um, I think they look great as well. Um, so as you can see, there's a little tiny there as well those actually the toilets i mean four cubicles so there's one side for males one side for females and then the both actually have two cubicles in each so one of them has a little toddler potty thing in it and the other one has a normal toilet in it as well so we're just working around putting some um, of these rocks in and stuff, which I like to use sometimes as well as kind of just to finish off um, some landscaping, like as an extra little detail. Um, so I'm just going around doing that. And yeah, so what else have we got to do here? Well, not really a lot, to be honest. We've got most of it in. Um, like I said, I kind of go around in different, um, you know, do a little bit and then come back to another bit. So it kind of makes it look like it's all kind of most of it's in there. Um, I went ahead and put some bowling pins in. Now, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, to be honest. Um, I just thought it was something a little bit different and um, just a little bit of clutter I suppose. Um, looks a little bit odd now I'm thinking about it but you know you can take that out. Um, another thing I want to mention is that if you actually go ahead and download this from the gallery um, I did actually have to include a few more items in it than what you actually had and um, that's because the kind of um, the, there's actually requirements that you have to have for a park so I had to go in and add a few park benches and things around the fountain which actually didn't look too bad um, and I also had to go ahead and add in a climbing frame which barely fits so you might want to go ahead and take that out and um, what else was it? I had to go ahead and put a chess table in which I put up on the little um, the little raised um, deck in area so you might go ahead and take that out if you like to um, but the rest of it I think I already had in so it isn't too much of a big deal um, if you want to go ahead and take them out then you can but you don't really need to to be honest um, so we're just working on the little toy toilet area here as well. Pretty simple, just got the toilet and the sink, not really a whole lot of space I had, so I just kept it pretty simple. I did a few plants and things, a few decorations, and that was pretty much it, um, as well as a few paintings as well, so it didn't look too dark and just boring, um, and that's pretty much it for that. Um, you might have seen there, I really liked the little design I did on the outside there. Got some painted walls and kind of alternated them every time I went around on the outside, which I thought really, really great for that. Um, not really too, something too impressive, but it kind of just something to make it a little bit colourful, um, especially for since it's a toddler really a build and a pack. So um, another thing as well, as you can see, the fencing that I used also changed up the colour with that. A little bit tedious to do that because you had to place down one um, section of fence, go ahead and change the colour swatch and then go ahead and put another one down. So it was a little bit annoying to do that. Um, another thing, actually, I had a little glitch um, when I was doing this this it wouldn't let me go back and change the color swatch once i actually place down the item so think of this you put the item down then you go in the color swatch tool you click on it and it changes and then when you go back to look at the color swatches again it's reverted back to the normal one and it doesn't even change the color swatch i have no idea what happened like if it's a glitch or something i try to restart my game still had the same problem so Maybe it's something with the new toddler stuff pack and a glitch has to come in with that. I have no idea. Let me know if you have that same problem so I know it's just not me. And um, yeah, so we're just going around putting some outside lighting in um, just so it wasn't too dark um, for at night time. And I also put some of those higher lights in as well. I believe we got with either Get Together or... Oh, get together or something else. Um, City living. It might have been from those two. Can't exactly remember. And I have paused here for a second and I forgot to take it out. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that's going to last too long. Um, but I'm going to leave you with some screenshots now. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure in the comment section down below you let me know about what you thought of this build and if you have any suggestions you want to see in the future for toddler stuff pack items. Make sure to leave this video with a like, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>